Hi everyone, today is Monday, June 5th, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney, I'm the hydrologist at the National Weather Service, and this is a spring snow melt briefing for the 5th. And uh, let's start off with temperature. And we're, if you've seen these briefings before, we've been looking at May temperatures to see how they compare to average. We're now going to go through the 11th, and this is where we are. But when you think right about, you know, the 27th is when we started going above on May 27th. And we've had several days, up to eight days above average, anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees. And then we anticipate having three more days uh, above average. And then it's going to get cold on the weekend. But this period of time has been really quite warm, which should fuel some pretty high stream flows. And we've seen that but not to the magnitude that we anticipated. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at two areas, Logan area, and then we're going to look out by Oakley on the Weber River. And we're going to look at snowpack on the left, and we're going to look at rivers on the right. So here's Logan. This is what it looks like with the mountains off to the east. So the snow tell at, at Tony Grove Lake is on the left, and the actual river flow, is Logan, is on the right. We've got about 19 inches of water left at Tony Grove. When you were melting roughly 1.6 to up to 1.8 inches per day, that's fueling what you see on the right. One would surmise that we've had uh, such heat influencing this snow melt that we should have a lot more water going into the Logan River at this point. My feeling when, when I saw these numbers earlier, right around May 1st, that we should be right around... 16, 17, 1800 CFS if we got this temperature range, yet we did not. We're right around 1350. We're hitting flood. We're creating some very minor damage to some areas, not a lot, but this would indicate that the snowpack is not as large as we, we looked at aerially. We measure these on north-facing slopes at higher elevations in the trees, but that melt that happened in February and March took its toll and melted off a great deal of the low and mid-elevation snow, more so than I thought and what our model reflected. But we still have flows that are really quite high in the Logan and really quite dangerous. They're just not producing damage, which you know has its merits. So now what we'll do is we'll look at near the town of Oakley on the Weber River, and also, we'll take a look at just that general area. Trial Lake is a snow tell station that's located about 10,000 feet up Mirror Lake Highway. This has about 16 inches of water, and it's been melting at 1.8 inches per day. So roughly about another week of melt until it's melted out at 10,000 feet. When you look at the river and the Weber near Oakley, you see something very similar. The, the uh, diurnal flux, which is that up and down blue line, and the red line is, is where we have damage, and the upper Weber, uh, we're not making it right there yet. And we have a watch out for this area, but we don't anticipate it going much above flood before we start running out of snow. And that also is indicative of that melt in February and March, taking away a lot of the mid-elevation and really melting out totally the low elevation. We kind of knew that. But the extent of the melt, I think, is hitting home right now that we're not getting the rises that we had originally talked about. So when you look at the reservoirs, this is the good news. We're about full all throughout. And really, when you look at Bear Lake, it's not on this graph, but it should just be just about full which is great. All of, our, all of our reservoirs are expected to fill. Many of these are spilling as we speak. So water supply conditions look very good. In the future, CBRFC is the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center. They're part of the National Weather Service. They're a group of hydrologists that are in with the National Weather Service Forecast Office. They uh, are the ones that put out a lot of the data, a lot of the forecasts uh, that the graphics that I use in these briefings. Do a search for CBRFC and you can get this page, which will take you to their page. A lot of good stuff. Highly recommend it. Good idea. So there you have it. Uh, on a somber note, we are up to seven fatalities now. Uh, a person drowned in Bells Canyon over the weekend. Um, trying to cross the stream. So we've had seven fatalities. Let's not have any more. Really pay attention to your children. 
leash up your pets. Don't let them swim in the streams as they're going. They're just ripping right now. And use really prudent judgment if you're around any of these waterways. Um, the peak will most likely be within a day or two. So we're Monday, most likely Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we're going to start seeing the effects of that lack of snow. By the weekend, we're going to get colder, and then this main peak flow will be over, and then we'll just have a declining limb of the hydrograph through about mid-June, and then we'll have still high flows really through about the third week. So there you have it for this briefing. Um, if anything changes or things morph, I'll put out another one. But until that time, this is Brian McInerney. And I do appreciate taking the time to listen to this. Thank you.